Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. So today's video is going to be my one month update of using castor oil for eyelash growth. Now, I've already uploaded a seven days of castor oil video, which were basically like my first impressions, learning to use the product and like using it for the first few days. I wouldn't say we noticed a huge difference in the first seven days, but I now, a month later, I definitely think that there are like noticeable differences. And before I get into all of that though, I wanted to apply my mascara on camera. So currently I have no mascara on my eyelashes, so they are completely natural, but I wanted to apply my mascara on camera to show you like the techniques I use. I have very straight eyelashes. They are naturally super straight. So they just go down. They have no natural curl to them. It's actually really quite similar to my hair as well. My hair is very straight, doesn't hold a curl very well. And my eyelashes seem to be really quite similar. I don't know if that's like a thing or if I'm just making that up, but I've definitely noticed that similarity between the two. And so there's a definite technique as to how I apply my mascara. And so I thought you might like to see that as well if you've also got straight eyelashes like me. For me, the two most important things are a pair of eyelash curlers and waterproof mascara. They are like my dream combination. They give me the results that I want with my eyelashes. Step one is to curl my eyelashes. Currently, I'm using the Tweezerman eyelash curlers. I think these are really good actually, and you can find them quite easily on the high street, but also online. Um, so they're a really, really great find for me. And what I do, I do one eye at a time. So I'll do right eye, curl, 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 like I curl them for quite a long amount of time and I really do think that makes all the difference. I notice a huge difference if I just, you know, do like curl my eyelashes for 10 seconds, let's say, it just doesn't hold as well. So I will curl them for a significant amount of time. I'll probably go in a few times as well, usually like three times and um, then I go straight in with mascara. Again, um, I think I did like 14, 15 seconds that time, but you can see it's definitely got more of a curl, but the more I wait, like the more they start to droop down. So that's why it's like a process that's a little bit long. I always say applying my, my mascara takes quite a long time, but it gives me the results that I want. And then when I'm happy with it, there's not enough time to maneuver. I go in with my mascara. So that's one eye done, and I'm sure you can tell a massive difference between my right and my left eye. I definitely have more length with my eyelashes. Obviously, they have mascara on, so they are going to appear longer, but I definitely think that even naturally, they have much more length. And then, of course, I just repeat the process on the left eye. So I haven't curled that yet. I'm going to curl a few times and then go straight in with my mascara on top. And done, that's how I apply my mascara. I do think there is a technique involved there. Like if I don't do this, my mascara just doesn't look the same. If I don't curl my eyelashes, I will have no curl. If I don't do it like kind of vigorously, I don't get the lift and curl that I want. And then on top of that, I think mascara plays a huge role as well. I honestly, I religiously use waterproof mascara, which isn't great for your eyelashes anyway. And that's partly the reason why I started using castor oil as well. So yeah, I use a waterproof mascara because if I use a normal mascara, the curl won't hold. I can curl my eyelashes for as long as I want, but they will droop throughout the day. I've even noticed this with some waterproof mascaras as well. So this one, which is the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic is one of my favorites. I just think it gives me the desired effect that I want. It holds this curl all day my eyelashes will still look like this at the end of the day and it's just one of the best mascaras I found honestly particularly for being able to find like in a drugstore so like Boots or Superdrug I think that makes it even even better it's just one of my favorites I've gone through quite a few tubes of this I do think I need to try a few more mascaras though but this one is like a holy grail for me I think it makes a huge difference and now that that's done I've sort of talked you through how I apply my mascara I thought I would talk about castor oil and how I found it using it for a month now. I feel like a month is enough time to start noticing a difference, but I think with any sort of beauty product, you do need to give it time. It's not going to magically happen overnight. It does take time. I just 
bought a little t- a little bottle of castor oil on Amazon. The brand is Naissance. It's got very good reviews online. And um, yeah, this is just the one I picked. I don't really think there's anything to it. It isn't anything fancy. I think it was like five pounds or something. So it was super inexpensive as well. That's what I use. I apply it every evening as part of my evening routine. So before I go to bed and I just leave it, I rub it in with my fingers. If you watched my week of castor oil, you'll see that I started by using a cotton bud, but that wasn't good. I wouldn't recommend that. It made it like, it made it just a really horrible experience, to be honest. Like it would drop down into my eyes and then my eyes would get a little bit irritated. So now what I do is just use my ring finger because it's like a little bit weaker. So it it won't like cause any damage. I use my ring finger, dip it in some castor oil and then just massage it on my lashes, on the lash line and just do that really. I make sure everything is properly coated but I don't use like huge amounts. I then leave it on overnight, I don't do anything and in the morning it's gone basically, it's like all absorbed. I don't have any residue or anything like that in the morning, like I don't need to go over with micellar water to wipe it away or anything like that. I don't do anything like that with my eyelashes, it just in the morning they just are back to normal basically and so yeah like I said I've been using this for a month now I personally think there is a difference and I know it is sometimes hard to find when you sort of see your eyelashes every day it's hard to notice the difference so that's why I've decided to do this so that I can actually document it and see whether or not there is actually a difference but I really do think that there is one I notice a difference when I curl my eyelashes usually I would curl them and lose like 10 eyelashes like loads I'd have lots of fallout from curling my eyelashes because apparently you shouldn't curl your eyelashes every day like it's not very good for the health of your lashes and where that's such an integral part of my mascara routine I was like oh this isn't good so that's one of the reasons I started using castor oil not only to hopefully lengthen them but also to strengthen them make them a bit stronger and hopefully like stop the breakage from happening and like the fallout so much and I definitely think I have noticed that I do still get fallouts every now and then when I curl my eyelashes sometimes even when I apply mascara I'll use like a couple of lashes but it's nowhere near as much as it was previously. I had also started to notice like little gaps in my eyelashes and I think it's where they had been falling out so much and that's that was probably the tip of the iceberg. That's what made me try this because I was like whoa I don't want to like lose all of my eyelashes. So yeah I've definitely noticed they're sort of starting to I mean, I don't notice gaps anymore, basically. So that's another good thing because I didn't want to be losing eyelashes. And personally, I do think that there is a difference there in terms of length. I definitely notice it. I mean, mostly when I apply mascara because, like I said, I have very straight eyelashes. So I can't really see a difference when they are just naturally straight. But when I curl them and when I apply mascara, I definitely think that they are longer. I haven't used a different mascara or anything like that. So I can kind of tell if that makes sense because I'm still using the same routine, the same mascara but I noticed that they are definitely longer so that's also a good thing because that's what I wanted to see from using castor oil. Now I'm really intrigued to see whether they will start to have a natural curl. I'm wondering whether the more they grow out, fingers crossed, that they may start to have a more natural curl to them. The longer that they grow, the more curl they'll have. I wonder if that will happen or if they will just continue to sort of grow straight out and won't really have a curl there because my eyelashes just don't naturally curl. Very intrigued to find that out. But I think, again, that's something that will take a little bit more time and I'm totally okay with waiting longer as long as it's like doing something but like I said I do definitely notice a difference there in terms of the strength of my eyelashes in terms of like breakage and fallout I noticed that much less than it used to be when I wasn't using castor oil so all those things are positive and if they continue to grow and if they grow and start curling and everything I think it will literally be a dream come true for me, honestly. I'll also insert a couple of clips from like day one of starting castor oil to a month later. So you can see what my eyelashes look like. You can see like the before and after of a month. So we can potentially see if we notice a difference. I'm really excited to continue using castor oil. It's been so easy to integrate into my evening routine. I haven't yet missed a single night, which for me is pretty impressive because I usually get bored with any sort of new routines or anything that requires me to do it 
every single day. I just can't be bothered with it. And usually I will skip a day or two, but so far I haven't skipped any days. So very pleased with myself, like pat on the back to me. But yeah, that is so far my experience with castor oil, using it for one month to grow my eyelashes. This is what my eyelashes are looking like now with mascara on, which hopefully you guys will like to see because I think that makes a big difference. You know, you want to know what you'll look like with makeup on. So this is my eyelashes with mascara on. I think I'll do another update in a couple of months time. Hopefully there will be even more differences that I can sort of explain to you and share with you. And yeah, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I will get back to you. A big thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you all soon. Bye.